I had classes right? of 11. I mean, I think everybody's had a class of 11 sure. or 13. Sure. Or 13. Yeah. 15 is another odd number. Yeah. Well, at least it divides into five, threes, groups of and three. Fives, and yeah. five, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, 11, 11, you've got I mean, pair, 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 and one. And you three. Right, or three, yeah depending on yeah. how you do it. I mean, inevitably, in that, those cases, one student feels kind of tagged on to a group, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> We're just doing so math right now. <laughs> this, activity, this activity is called That Odd Number, and it's from page 25, also from Unit 1, and it aims to give that special role to this extra special student <laughs> so that they don't feel tagged on to an existing group. So after you've divided your classes, you normally would. When you arrive at the extra person, or you arrive at extra people, you know, depending on how you divide your class, you want to give them uh, one of these roles. So how you do it and how you divide up your class, you could have one extra person left over. You could have uh, it divided out so that you have three people, four people, or maybe you've figured out uh, in your large class a way to have six or seven extra people left over. You can you can um, copy these roles, right? Mm -hmm. So you give these people a, a, a role and these pictures. I have to say, can I interrupt yeah, you for a sure. second? I would love to know what people are thinking about what these <laughs> roles are. Well, that's Especially the police ask, officer sure. with, the, with the big gun. You know? I <laughs> want to be, yeah, I got a big gun. I want to. You want to be the police officer. <laughs> so does anybody have a, any idea what these oh, like roles the, might represent? <laughs> the, the creepy kids. Yeah. <laughs> You have to scare the people in the classroom. Right. Imagine everybody's in groups and partners, and you've got one or two or three or four extra people left over. So not in the groups Not in the those partners. groups. So what are they going to do? Right. So we've got Spy. I think that one must be the first red one up here. Uh, <laughs> Monitor. Excellent. Oh, that's a good suggestion. That's from David. What else? What about uh, the twins down there? What do you think? <laughs> Freak everyone out. <laughs> <laughs> Make everybody feel really nervous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, we've got uh, make decisions facilitator. Sure. Hmm. Okay, that will sound good. Good suggestions. So let me go through what these roles are and how we would get uh, your students to use them. So the first one is, like someone said, spy. And. Uh, your job as the spy is to listen carefully to the other groups and take notes of what they're saying. Um, write down, for example, any information you think is interesting or surprising, any mistakes you think they, uh, you've heard, how many times someone spoke in a language that wasn't English, right? And uh, you can prepare your report for the teacher at the end of the activity. Right? Another one is enforcer. Your job is to keep a bit of order around uh, the classroom. To do this, you can use a yellow and a red card for minor or major offenses. Right? And what Just would like a soccer. major offense be? Well, for, well, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> I don't want to say what's major and minor necessarily, but some, some things you could watch out for would be to make sure people speak only English in their group. Mm -hmm. Uh, make sure that people use the required language or structure. For example, if you're using mm -hmm. past simple. Right? Mm -hmm. People continue to use past simple. Make sure that people don't make a certain mistake. Um, for example, using present simple when you should be using past simple. Mm -hmm. um, maybe make sure that people are talking. You mm -hmm. don't want any dead silent groups because that's a, not fun. No. I was thinking you could also maybe um, encourage Shire students. So the enforcer could be going around just to kind of say, okay, you, you know, you haven't said anything in. Uh, two minutes. I'd like you to add the next opinion or comment or something to the group, just to, I mean, obviously in a nice way. Yeah, some encouragement. Encouragement. Encourager. Yeah. No guns to the head. No, no, not at all. No. Okay, so the third role is resourcer. You are like a walking resource for the groups. Your job is to help them if there are any words they don't know how to say. Uh, and for this job, you will be given a special piece of resource equipment, a dictionary, and maybe a grammar book or or some other type of resource. Um, make sure you can use it quickly, though. Mm. Right? So they're, they're like a second teacher. And then the last group is doppelganger. Uh, doppelganger... <laughs> 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 oh, Lord. A doppelganger <laughs> is a person who... to frightening twin. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> who changes into another person and takes their place. Mm. Right? So in this activity, this student will take someone's place. So... Mm -hmm. 
they'll walk around the room and listen to any group or pair that they like. Uh, and when they decide who they want to replace, they tap them on the shoulder. And that person has to get up and change places with them. And that, uh, they get to join the group and start talking away. And the other person becomes the new doppelganger. Mm. And they can walk around the room. You know what might be really interesting for that one? It just popped into my head. is the idea, because you know how um, you also have to try and make it clear to students when an appropriate pause comes in a, a conversation or effective ways of interrupting mm -hmm. or something? So, you know, that could be quite a, an interesting thing for students to sensitize themselves to when it is an appropriate time to break into a conversation. So not just tapping, you know, randomly. Yeah. I'm just going to poke you in, in the... Mid -sentence, in mid-sentence, you have to get up. Sentence, yeah, <laughs> for example. But it, they actually have to really listen to what's actually happening in the group or in the pair and at an appropriate moment where they judge the pause to mean the person has finished saying everything I want to say. Or also to practice interrupting language, too, could be yeah. a nice uh, use of that. I mean, it could also... The tap on the shoulder could come at any time and then have the exactly. other person have to figure out a nice segue to get out of the conversation. Nice. Yeah. yeah. Some a lot of good mm -hmm. functional stuff. And also I think having that physical component makes it that much more, I don't know, meaningful. That's mm -hmm. cool. I like that. That's good yeah. stuff. We're nothing if not full of good ideas. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so these activities work well with large classes, large groups, but they could also work with smaller groups too. Um, because they all help to manage the students, right? They all give the students a role. They all get the students engaged. Um, and most likely that's why it's in Unit 1. <laughs> I think this is also another good thing is if <laughs> just to jump in again. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dyson. That's okay. Another thing is what, like when you're dealing with classroom Woman likes to talk. That's <laughs> 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 true. I love the sound of my own voice. Good interruption, um, by the way. Yes, thank you, Tyson. <laughs> Was that nicely done? I hate to interrupt you, but yeah. I'm going to anyway. But you didn't poke him. No, well, he's too far away. Uh. Um, but the idea also, like, sometimes in dealing with, uh, you know, uh, classroom dynamics that aren't as healthy as they could be, some of these roles are also really useful to for the, in that respect, for example, you have some frustrated leaders or uh, in the classroom, so they would love to be the resourcer, for example. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's, it's, it's also, I think, really useful for, for mixed-level classes because perhaps some of the stronger students can be, the, can be chosen to be doing the, the resourcer or, uh, I don't know, the spy, for example. So giving them different roles can also help even out the language abilities because some of the roles, I would imagine, might be more challenging. Yeah than others too. And it, you okay. know, you, in each class you could do these types of roles with, obviously with different students, you know, give everybody a chance to, to do it. And with the spy or with um, the resource or the enforcer, of course, they, the students can come together at the end um, and put a little report as to what yeah. they saw, what, what happened, what language they came up with nice. in the groups. Yeah. Like it. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> Can you seal the proof? <laughs> <laughs> so, w this is the moment where I would like to uh, unmute very, anybody, if possible. That's a very kiddenish looking teacher. <laughs> Ooh, too many students. Help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's lost it. It's lost it. it looks like all the students are going to jump on her, too. You know? Know. Children of the corn of some sort. Used by her. Yes, they do. <laughs> We're too young for you, Miss. <laughs> <laughs> so, so for all of you that are out there listening, uh, what challenges have you Still. faced regarding large classes or classroom management? If you want to speak, like out loud, and you want me to unmute you, please raise your hand, and I will unmute you, and then you'll be able to talk. If not, you can just type in your situation in the question box. And I'll read it out. And if not, we'll move on. Would anybody like to tell Any us about up, your Tyson? situations? No Any hands, hands up, up so far. No? No. I bet they're all desperately clicking, <laughs> making sure they're making clicks on it. <laughs> yeah. They're like, oh my god, no, I don't want to be oh unmuted. Oh my god, no, 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 no. <laughs> we could just randomly unmute someone and say, go. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> but we won't. Don't no, worry. No. 